let's do it. Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to Deep Down Under. Today we're diving out of Hahe, located in the Coromandel, North Island, New Zealand. Absolutely beautiful place. Today I dig out a kayak from underneath Catherine's family's house and I rig it up to go hit the water and get stuck in for a dive. So here's the rig. All set up, guns in, good to go. All right, we're about halfway. It's been a while since I've been kayaking. The shoulders are a bit warm, that's for sure. I'm gonna keep paddling and See if we can get to this island and find a nice little calm spot. If there's any kingies today, I won't be shooting them. I got more than enough from the, the last dive. But anyways, there's a fair bit of current, so I'm glad I'm in the kayak. Swimming out here might have been a bit, a bit harder to do. Yeah, anyways, let's get going. So the plan at this point in time is to search around for my first New Zealand cray. And it didn't take long at all before I'd found one. And often where there's one, there's more. First cray spotted. Now it's time to try and dive down and get my first New Zealand cray. I don't think that's the cray I was actually reaching in for. I think I've reached in and grabbed a different one there. It's good to see they're around. That's the first cray that I've caught in New Zealand. They're beautiful, aren't they? Let's put him back. Still too small. Well, they seem to be everywhere, but the problem is they're all too small. Well, I couldn't seem to find a legal cray, so I had to resort to plan B, and that was to find the famous New Zealand butterfish. Now, I've never had one, but I'm told that they're delicious and that they live in kelpy, weedy areas just like this. And it didn't take long before one decided to pop its head out. He'll do. Oh, what a relief. How lucky is that? I can't believe that. I must have, must have dropped it when I was mucking around with the butterfish. Oh, that would have wrecked my day. How lucky. Woo.
green bone, or what they're most commonly known as, is butterfish, a kelp eating fish, making them very hard to catch on fishing line. Trevor, Catherine's dad, was really keen to try some and he was encouraging me to get one. So it was good for us to try them and we all really liked it. That meant though, the next dive, the aim was to get some more. And I'm gonna roll some clips of that next dive of me hunting some New Zealand butterfish. Adios. When you find plenty of molted crayfish shells like this around, you know that they're nearby. And I wasn't willing to give up on finding a legal New Zealand cray. So I started looking around and it didn't take long until I found a lot. And I mean a lot. But they were always in a tricky little hole that were hard to get to. Sometimes that's just how it goes. And unfortunately for me, I didn't manage on this trip to get my first New Zealand crayfish. As frustrating as it was to not get my hands onto one, it was really good to see a healthy population of crayfish around the Coromandel area. And they'll only get bigger for next time. That pretty much sums up my time in New Zealand over the last three episodes. I hope you enjoyed that. Guys, if you can get over there for a dive, it's an absolutely awesome place. Just being in, in different waters, looking for new species, hunting new fish, trying new fish. Uh, it's a lot of fun, that's for sure. Definitely worth taking your gear over. Hopefully that video I put up a couple of episodes ago helps you guys understand a little bit about packing your bag and how to get your gear over there. But any other questions that you might have if you're looking at doing a trip overseas, definitely pop them down in the comments section and I'll try and answer them as best as I can. Other than that guys, jump on board the Deep Down Under and I'll see you next episode. Stay safe out there and I'll catch you on the next one.